I would like to introduce myself. I am an artist and art and science education. I have been wandering around the globe in the last three years, creating interactive maps and site with students and professionals for mobile learning. Today, you will get an introduction to my course. The cover pictures were taken in Mexico, where I was a visiting lecturer in the last few months. The bird we, you see was made from pistols that were collected in rural communities and then exchanged with computers. Now the bird is on display in the president's residence in Mexico City. To the right, you see a street in the city center of Puebla. The pavement was designed with blind people's sticks in mind. They put their stick in the gap and wait, walk safely around the city. These are examples of an object and a place of interest. When you stand in front of the bear or when you walk on the street, all your senses should be involved in the experience. Now, I would like to show you how these places become learning sites for the community with the help of mobile technology. I will present the Wandering Platform Innovation that combines well-known pedagogical activities with new technology. My dream is to help you to create meaningful activities around your campus. What kind of experimental activities can we do here? How can we create learning community in a place whose main aim is to house people. Please raise your hand or write in the chat if you have question. Okay. Our supportive platform is the wandering. The creation of the Wandering Platform was inspired by the great philosopher Walter Benjamin. The philosopher Walter Benjamin defined the difference between a tourist in the city and a wandering person. The tourist has a map and goes from one famous monument to the other. He reaches the monument and tells himself, I was here and moves on. How do we change this approach? So now we are going to see a short video that describe the wandering approach. Sorry, I see that it's um, uh, downloading. So I put you here in the chat, the video. Um, you're able to watch it on your own uh, uh, face. And then uh, we will move on. When you're ready, just click on the hand and uh, I will know that you uh, saw uh, the video, ah, it was fine, okay, thank you.
So watch the video and then we will uh, move on. Ah, okay, Omar, thank you. So let's wait a few minutes uh, because I inserted the link in the chat. So if you have a question about uh, the short movie, about the idea, about um, the theme, uh, please write it in the chat or raise your hand. Okay, thank you, Omar. That's our um, I, that's idea to create smart city from uh, and connect all the institutions around the city on one platform for uh, all of us. Um, Ari, can you open uh, Michal microphone? Ah, Michal, she finished uh, finished the movie. Okay, please click on the hand when you uh, finish uh, with the video. So I will move on. Raise your hand. Okay, Cassie, thank you. We will wait a few seconds. Michal, Mirav, Omar, and Galidan. Okay, so the basic component of the wandering platform is the station. The station is an object of interest in the real world. A station consists of four stage stages. And here you see the diagram. Go. You, have, you ha are asked to go to exact point on the map or in the museum. And then, what do I do in front of the object? An activity that takes place in the real world using our senses. The smartphone and its application or our imagination. Then we have outcome, the share, and the information about the importance of the activity around the place. We can summarize the station in one sentence. A station is around a place, a building, a tree, a statue, a work of art, or a natural element. Whenever you go, you can find something meaningful to do, an activity unique to this place. You may, you may want to share the outcome of this activity with others or widen your horizons 
by getting more information about this place. Now we will zoom in to the station phases. The, um, let's start with the go phase. When visitors open the station, they see direction to the place of interest. How do I direct a visitor to find the exhibit or the installation? During the course, we will study how to write a descriptive text, a text that challenges your student and will help him to reach the place of interest. The next phase is the do. What is the appropriate activity in this place? How do I challenge my students and visitors? Here are some activity verbs that you can use. On the right side, there is an activity in front of Kaldani plate in the Muse Museum in Trento, Italy. The next, do you have question? about the go and the do phases. So we will uh, move to the share. The third uh, phase is the share. We share an idea, a reflection, a thought, or a scientific data. The info phase. The info is additional information about the specific activity. Here is a place to give your visitors additional knowledge. The authentic info is an interview with an expert. So here are the four phases. And now when you have the idea about the structure of a station, we can practice. So let's practice. To the right, you see an aerial picture of Complutensia University campus in Madrid. The event took place in the Belle Arte faculty. Here are the results that students uploaded to the station. What I ask you, what did I ask my audience to do? This is the outcome of the station activity. So you can write in the chat, what did I ask them to do? And here is an additional clue. Maybe dance. Okay, but Mirav, think about the relation, the context. The building is the context. The building is the place of interest. They have to relate, to explore the building. And here is another outcome for the same activity. Uh, Leonardo is the result, okay? But through the Leonardo, what if the Leonardo is the result? What was the question? What was the mission? So they are in front of the building and they have to find a solution to the problem. And Alexandra is right. 
they were asked to measure with their bodies the building. So you found what these pictures have in common and now you can see the um, uh, station in um, one screen. The go, ask for a personal decision, personal taste. What is charming place in your eyes? We can consider the do phase as a problem that one has to solve is an open-ended mission. The info is related to the mission. An appropriate info would be an interview with the architect who designed this building and his idea about proportion. So, now you have the idea about a station and an outcome in one place. So I would like to uh, do it, but we will do it vice versa. Here is the outcome. And here is another outcome. What did I ask my students to do? In the Ethnobotanical Garden in Cholula and Puebla in Mexico. So these were the two pictures that were uploaded in the show. Try to guess, just guess. Here is the first picture and here is another picture. Metamorphosis in nature, wow. Okay, this is very, very uh, nice. Okay, I will adopt it as an idea. Thank you, Mirav. Uh, but meta, uh, it's, it's very close. You are very, very close in a very nice way, the way that you phrase it. Um, so here is uh, the station on one screen. We are in the Ethnobotanic Garden and you, with your senses, you have to pick up and to choose three objects and create a timeline. So this timeline is connected to this garden at this time. They had to find the object and they put them in order. So the challenge here was to create a timeline. A minute, I will upload the second uh, presentation. Okay. During the course, you will choose places of interest. Those places will become the center of experimental experiences that you will create on the platform. You are free to choose the place of interest and the subject matter that you would like your student to learn about and experience. We are going to give you a glimpse of the process. Here we see three images. To the left is the courtyard in the Buap University historical library in Puebla. 
Now you can raise your hand if you want to talk or write the appropriate activity that you would like your student to demonstrate in this courtyard or around the building. There is not right or wrong here. Everything that you will write is acceptable. It's from your perspective, from your life experience, from your imagination. Just try to think, to imagine yourself standing here at the center of the courtyard and what would you like to find? What you would you like to experience here? You can relate, okay, thinking of a building as a system. Okay, thank you, Mera. Very, very interesting. Heritage. Yeah, but Omar, think about an activity that your students will realize that this is heritage. What would you like them to uh, experience, feel, do, do here that they will realize that it's something, uh, a place of uh, different, in different style, different proportion, different atmosphere. Even if you will ask them to write a line with their insight in this place, it will be a way for them to experience that this is something that belongs to another period. And this is a way that they can feel that this is heritage. That's why we keep it. We um, um, uh, reconstruct and restore it um, because it's heritage. So if you have more ideas, write it in the chat. Now let's concentrate in the mural. This mural is um, um, uh, at the center of the university that I uh, lectured. What kind of activity would you like to do with your students in front of the mural. It's part of a bigger um, uh, painting, but just concentrate on this figure that it's in the center and the powers, the way uh, this uh, man is described. What the activity would you do here in front of this mural? No, they are not from the same building. No, <laughs> they are all from Mexico, and they are all from Puebla, the city that was now at the eye of the earthquake. And actually, this building was uh, a bit damaged in this building and the library. But they are very, they are in the same campus, Mirav. They are in the same campus. It is a historical campus um, where I lectured. And uh, this is uh, a building from the uh, 16th century. And you see that the top floor is it's from the 19th century. Um, the mural is in uh, another campus, it's uh, from the 
uh, mid 20th century and the water system is in the same. But let's, um, uh, I would like to hear your ideas about the mural. What I can tell you is that Miriam, the physiotherapist teacher, created an activity about anatomy. So um, teachers from all the department in the university took part in my workshops and they created activities in their professional. So around the uh, mural, we can do an activity about anatomy. We can do uh, other activity with painting and drawing. And to the right, there is the water system. The water system is a very important part in the campus. What activity would you like your student to do around the water system? In Mexico, in every public building, there is a water system. Okay, the building, Nirit, okay, thank you for the idea. So, uh, Manuel, a civil engineer that um, discovered this con corner in the campus, the water um, system, uh, thanks to his awareness, students and visitors can learn about the water in the campus. He was lucky to find Javier, the technician, who comes once a week to maintain the system. He interviewed him and created an original info. So your activities should surprise your students with unaccepted games and brood. You can see that Puebla map on the um, platform is filled with stations. Every drop, each drop is a station. We can create many games and routes with these stations. Your site, a game, a route will be examined by your audience who can then try it out. So, is it clear till now? Do you have a question or I would like now to move to another example from, uh, thank you, Merav. Um, uh, I would like to show you um, uh, a site that was created for the uh, exhibition in the Israel Museum. The first screen to the noisemaker exhibition in the Israel Museum is to the right. When you answer the question, you are able to enter the site and see the exhibition layout. So now to the right, Uh, visitors can find easily the noisemakers that are on display on the virtual map. To the right, you see the activity or the outcome of the activity beside the chaotic noisemaker. Visitors create their personal chaotic noisemaker and it is in the share, in the gallery. So this is for those of you who come from the museum or for those of you who uh, think about an activity around a museum, a gallery or a park in the city. Um, 
Here is a Magdalena. So now I'm going to show you previous projects, projects that were uh, created during the first and the second uh, course. This is uh, my third semester in Mufet International. Your classmates will be from four corners of the world. That is so exciting about this course. You will be able to exchange ideas and hear original opinions for your projects from professionals that live on the other side of the globe. Here is Mag Magdalena. She is from Poznan, Poland. She participated in the first course and she created with her student a team map for the city. She presented the project in three European conferences already. So this is Magdalena. The um, second project is from uh, Pinerolo, Italy, where students created interactive teens map, but here they uh, have three routes, the gastronomic route, the artistic route, and the sportive route around the city. This project was presented last June in Florence in the conference, The Future of Education. The last example is from Puebla. It was created with Cecilia who participated in the first course and here we see an illustrated map with five museums in Puebla to the left and to the right you see the car museum. Behind each car there is a station. So now we will describe the uh, course. I will give you more information about the topics. Our main topics will be, we will repeat and discuss in many ways the way one place, one artifact, how many questions, how many activities can we do around them? You will be able to create your scientific monitoring, to find, collect, analyze scientific data in a lock around your place. You will be asked to do qualitative and quantitative peer evaluation of the created stations. And my favorite subject is you will be able to create augmented reality around us to challenge your students. How? How we are going to do it? We will have the course is 14 weeks. We will have at least 11 synchronized meeting. We will do it around um, with, uh, we will every week, I will ask you what is the convenient time for you next week and you will be able to uh, write so every week it will be another day, another time uh, that we will meet. The course is on the Moodle. We will have all the presentations and the additional material for you to use from the first uh, week. You are free to choose your personal project. So we will discuss the concepts and the advantages of your ideas for mobile learning.
Do you have questions about the how, how we are uh, going um, to conduct the course? You can ask in the chat. The evaluation. How do we evaluate students' achievement? In the first few weeks, we will create stations with your students and you will examine it. Then each one of you will get a, an evaluation, a management site. <laughs> yeah, it's for creators, yeah, Alexandra. Um, you will get a management site. On this site, you are able to see your students' creation and your students, the stations that they uh, commented at. Like, for example, you see here, there is just one orange name. So this is the student's name from Pinerolo. I know that she created two stations that are marked or highlighted with the yellow lines. I know that she commented in another six stations that are highlighted with the green line. So um, um, this is the evaluation site that we will have during the course. And uh, now, um, of course, at the end of the course, for those of you who are Israelis, you will get a certificate. And this course is considered as 30 hours for GMUL. Uh, prerequisites, no, no, no prerequisites, just uh, enthusiasm, creativity, flexibility, all these are prerequisites. Uh, because if you're here till the end, so you have the curiosity. And um, uh, so you get it as a 30 hours uh, for GMUL. You will get a certificate um, um, at the end of uh, the course. Uh, at the moment, uh, I finish my uh, uh, introduction. I'm really curious to hear your ideas, your questions, um, comments, the way you think you can, uh, the way you dream to do it, everything. So I will send you uh, the site, uh, the, the presentation and the site. Uh, the, uh, you will get it in the, uh, from OFET tomorrow morning. Uh, for uh, those of you who uh, participated, um, you will be able to go over um, uh, hello, Cecilia. Uh, how are you? I just showed uh, your project. Cecilia is here. Cecilia is from Mexico. Aria, can you open Cecilia's microphone and uh, she can tell us about the project in the city? The microphone of all the participants, all the microphones are open. They just need to click on ah. the... Uh, on the microphone and ah, oh, no no she cannot speak okay okay thank you cecilia so uh, they will they just saw your map okay creo que 
Sí lo puedo usar. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Everyone is hearing you, Cecilia. If you can tell a few words about your project. Okay, thank you very much. Well, it's a huge project and we are concreting some ideas. Uh, right now we are um, we are going to make a run on downtown on certain um, museums around and also we are going to add some restaurants. As you know, we had an earthquake on September and many of the um, museums that we had on the original map are now uh, unavailable to, to use. So we had to change a little bit our idea and it's going to be a, a small run with just a few universities and six uh, students per university. So we will go uh, using the map of wandering uh, on the city and at the end of the run, the, if there is a winner and we will see who is going to be the winner through the points they achieve on the on the run we will give them some uh, some prize it's going to be a, a a ceramic from here from ah. one of the most traditional ones and well that's for now we have a month yet to to make a plan and to make something else but for now that's it Okay, so Cecilia has had uh, the chance to influence her society. She was the first one to bring the idea uh, to, the, um, uh, to Puebla, and she captured the heart of several museum curators. Um, uh, several factories that opened the door and um, uh, joined the project and created activities on the map. So she had a big, big dream and her dream came true uh, during the last year. Um, me and Cecilia, we were in the Smart City Conference as you know, the smart city is about education. Uh, we saw that the platform, the idea is very unique and very uh, uh, challenging for uh, educators, for stakeholders in the city, for the tourism department and um, in addition to the university, I had a chance to give several lectures in the uh, tourism, Puebla tourism department. So um, you can see that you can start from your position and affect your surrounding and your society. Cecilia? Yes. Ah, okay. Well, um, uh, can you tell about uh, most of the participants this evening are teachers. Um, can you tell us something about your experience in bringing the idea to the municipality and to the university? Okay, well, it's been a little bit um, difficult uh, for them to understand what is the platform and how it works. The idea it's very, very nice and they like it. They like to see their projects and they are the, uh, their ideas on the platform. But uh, for some reason they can't like um, make the activity by their own. Like it's, it's very complicated for them right now. Um, but they are very enthusiastic about the idea of changing the way of, of the, the education and to turn the city in a large classroom. It's what we, we told them they can do. Uh, that's the way they, uh, they, they like to see their students and also the heritage of the city on a map or on an activity. 
um, they know it's a uh, uh, kids now they learn from uh, different ways and they learn mostly on technology so um, they really like to change the experience but for some reason they can't it's well well i think it's, it's what i see and we have to go with them like hand to hand to make the things happen and to make them trust uh, on on how it works, the technology. Okay. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you very much. If you, uh, you are, um, you can open your mic or you can write if you want to ask Cecilia about her experience in bringing the methodology to a city, to um, several institutions in the city, you can ask her. So what did you learn about your person, your culture, Cecilia, when you bring the wandering? So how do you learn what, sorry? About your culture. What did you learn about your culture when you brought the uh, idea? Well, there is a lot still to learn about my culture. Uh, it's, well, I, I don't want to, to be very, like, I don't know how, but... Um, my culture is very, very antique from the pre-Hispanic area, <laughs> but also we have a very nice tradition from the Spanish one. Um, I think that the uh, concretion of both uh, cultures had made a very nice way to see or way to be on Mexico. And that has given us so many other things like music and like, dancing and well many other ways and paintings and everything i love mexico i love my culture and i think that here i have um what what the wandering has made for me is to open eyes to other ideas and to other people who who thinks different from me and that's it <laughs> Okay, so um, I, you are invited to ask more questions. Um, you are invited to ask questions about the course. Um, ideas that you have, something that you um, want to, cl to clarify about the course, you are um, invited to write in the chat or open your uh, mic. So I hope you enjoyed I hope you will join us to uh, create the revolution in education and to wander around your places. Make your... Uh, Cecilia, can you close your mic? Cecilia? Yes, give me a second. Ah, okay. Take care, take care, take care. Um, so I would like to thank you very much for taking part in, uh, in this webinar. I will be happy to answer your question. Uh, here is my mail. Uh, you will get uh, this uh, presentation tomorrow. You can uh, forward it to your friend. And uh, when we have a nice group, you will get a mail. And I hope that we will start in two weeks.
So I am here to answer your questions. And shalom, good night. Laila Tov, Nirit is in California, so have a nice day, Nirit. And uh, thank you, Omar. Thank you for participating. Shalom, Cecilia. Shalom.